citizens in our area haven't been able to bounce back like that. Prior to the special pressure put on families by the outbreak, the Sacramento Food Bank reported more than 215,000 people suffered from food insecurity in the capital city alone. A special effort is now underway by the NAACP to take a bite out of difficult statistics just like that. Selena Pryor with the Greater Sacramento branch of the NAACP with me now live to talk about Dine In 2. Welcome to Fox 40 News at 11. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Now, this is the second version of this program. The NAACP is now in partnership with Sacramento County to bring Dine In 2 to the community. Now, what exactly is Dine In 2? How will it work? Dine In 2 is a meal feeding program um, for people who are food insecure. Um, we're targeting families, seniors, anyone who is food insecure that you know, all you have to do is go to the website and sign up. Um, I believe we have about 700 meals a day that we can distribute. Um, so far, we're, we've allocated 333 of those meals. So we know that this is a very important program and definitely much needed. Applications just opened up on the 15th. And as you kind of just indicated there already, you have 31 families, 111 people have signed up in just five days. What does that say to you? I mean, you mentioned that it's important, but what does it say to you about the need that's out there? The need is great. I mean, I, I think that the pandemic has really impacted our community in a way that, I mean, it's going to take a lot of time for us to be able to bounce back. And then if you add, you know, just what's happened with the pandemic, the cost of, or the increase of cost of food, the increase in rent, the increase in gas, the, you know, you have to make a decision whether you're going to pay your insurance or buy groceries. It's a lot. Families are suffering and, and, and we're happy to be able to provide um, a resource to help the community out. Even for families who are clearly struggling, there can be barriers to getting help because they don't qualify for this program or that program. What are the requirements for Dine In 2? The requirements for Dine In 2 is, to be, is just to be food insecure. If you're food insecure, then you, you qualify for this program. Um, the application does ask some questions, but that is more for us to be able to collect the information and paint a picture. We know that um, food insecurity does not necessarily look like the homeless that's living on the street is people who look like me and you and go to work every day and just can't afford to pay um, rent and buy groceries or pay rent, you know, buy gas, take care of the kids, pay all your insurance. And by the time you look up, you have nothing left. So if you are food insecure, you qualify for this program. And that's really important because a lot of programs do have income cutoffs. And if you do have both parents working a job or maybe both parents working two jobs in a household, you may technically make more than what the cutoffs are, but still those dollars aren't spreading around, as you mentioned. The NAACP has received $2.5 million from the county for this kind of outreach. And this is not only a recruitment for needy families right now, this is a recruitment period for restaurants that want to provide these meals, right? Absolutely. All yes, right. What do the restaurants need to do that might be interested? Um, go to sacdinein2.com backslash restaurants and fill out the application. That's it. That's it. <laughs> there are That's very it. few application processes that are that easy. So <laughs> we wanted to make it simple because we want people to participate. Again, I mean, small businesses have been affected by the pandemic too. So we see this as a way um, to really help the community, to help both the businesses and to help the people who need it, so who need it the most. There's also an education component to all of this, teaching people about food insecurity, having them realize that they may be living in a food desert, what that really is and how to negotiate around it. And there are some seminars that are coming up in June about this. June, yes. We actually have a full program. If you check the website, you can find out what those are. They may change um, <laughs> um, depending on what, what um, the, the need is or what people want to learn about. But I think it's really important if you live in a food desert, you might want to know. Some people don't know that you can go on Amazon and order groceries, you know. And so, I mean, if you live in a food desert and you want access to fresh fruits and vegetables, Amazon um, groceries might be a, a way for you to get that access. Um, we're also um, going to be sponsoring farmers markets, a couple of farmers markets, mm -hmm. um, to make sure that people have access within their community where they're able to actually go 
and, and pick it up. So we're really excited about this component of the program. And with so many people having that lovely computer in their palm with their cell phones, you can make those orders for fresh produce to come right to your house. And that eliminates a lot of the transportation hurdle, hurdles that people might be facing if they are in a food desert and might have to go miles and miles and don't want to walk with um, all of those groceries or can't, depending on their physical condition. Just before we run out of time, even if people are interested, putting your name on a list that says, I don't have enough food in my home to regularly feed my kids is a real emotional hit. It's painful for parents or maybe you can't feel your el feed your elderly mom at the level of nutrition that she needs. What do you want to say to folks quickly about not letting shame or embarrassment get in the way of getting this help? As I stated before, <laughs> food insecurity looks like people who go to work every day, who are, you know, they're gainfully employed. Um, some folks are going to work every day and living in their cars. Put your pride aside. This is not about that. We are simply here to help you make it through this time and through this period of your life. So don't have any shame, don't have any pride. Just, you know, let us help you. Help us help you, that 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 would be my message. All righty, thank you so much for coming in to share about this, really a whole summer ahead of education and help for families. We appreciate you, Selena.